late. Good morning and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day. I guess you could say with Crohn's disease because for those of you that don't know, I do have Crohn's. Obviously I have to modify what I eat. It's not like, I don't want anyone to like feel bad or anything. It's not anything that serious. It is 9 a.m. right now and I woke up, wait, oh it's, it's almost 10 actually, it's 9.40. Woke up at I think 8, 8.30. Oh, and I wanted to mention one thing. I'm not going to include like my pills in this video because I do take a lot of supplements, like a lot of supplements. <laughs> but if you want um, a video to see on like how I treat my Crohn's disease because I'm not on, I'm not taking my prescription medication. I'm not like into this whole like self-curing or whatever. Basically, I'm taking supplements instead of prescription medications and a lot of research into it. Anyways, if you want a video on that, let me know. Um, but I'm not going to include that in this video. Like that, that's my yellow water. I'm not going to include that either. <laughs> Alright, let's just get into this. Okay. <laughs> this is my Vitamix. This is probably the most used appliance, honestly, in this entire kitchen. Other than like the microwave or the stove or whatever. Um, so, I'm going to start with my Vitamix. And then I'm going to take frozen bananas. I just peel them, stick them in little Ziploc baggies and stick them in the freezer. Um, pro tip, you wanna wait until they are ripe, like brown ripe. And I know a lot of people don't like to eat bananas when they're super ripe, like you're supposed to because of the consistency. When you freeze them and put them in a smoothie, you literally can't even tell. So that's like a banana and a half. I'm gonna add some dates in here. Now dates have a lot of calories and a lot of sugar, so I don't eat them often. But when I have them, all of them. I'm gonna put probably three, yeah, I'll put three dates in here. Oh no, <laughs> I put the wrong part of the date in there. Oh no. Put the, put the seed instead of the actual date. This is like a salted caramel. Like a vegan, I guess not salted caramel. It's a vegan version of a salted caramel. I guess like ice cream or like smoothie. I saw it on Earthy Andy's Instagram. But I made it before and it's actually delish. Now, hmm, little problem. You're sitting on my collagen peptides and L-glutamine. So let me find another place for you. Okay, we're back. So now, I'm gonna put in my collagen peptides. This says it's a dietary supplement for hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones. This is overall just like really good for you, especially us women. So I put one scoop. This stuff is very expensive, like this jar. I think it's worth it, it's really good stuff. Now, I'm gonna put my L-glutamine in it and this is very good for inflammation, muscle soreness, um, just like your internal function. This is the most abundant amino acid in the human body. This stuff is amazing. It's like a serious superfood. And this does really help with my inflammation because what Crohn's disease is, is inflammation. So I try to take this stuff like two to three times a day. And this is just like a heaping teaspoon. You can't taste it if it's in other stuff. In water, it kind of has a funky taste. I put two in there. But if it's in other stuff, it's really not a big deal. And now, a pinch of coarse kosher salt for the salted part of the caramel. That's really nothing. And oat milk. This is the one I use. Natalie actually bought um, 12 containers of these, so they're all sitting in my fridge right now. If you need some oat milk, I'll send some to you. This is what it looks like. And I don't put ice in my smoothies. A lot of people think that's super weird. In this case, it has frozen bananas, but even when it doesn't have frozen bananas, I don't put ice in it. I used to use protein powder, but I can't eat whey protein anymore because it upsets my stomach. And vegan protein, I haven't found one that I love yet. Actually, I have. 
There's one, Natalie got me a smoothie from Earth Bar once and it was literally the best smoothie I've ever eaten. So whatever protein they use, I need to order it, I think. So good. Hello, I'm hungry again. Um, I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs and chicken bacon. And yes, it is only like 11 o'clock and I ate like an hour ago, but I'm hungry again. And I didn't eat that much for breakfast, so it's fine. This is what's currently going on. It's just some diced onions and green bell peppers and some coconut oil. Also added some of this into there, and no, it does not actually come in a pickle jar. It's not dill pickles. It is, um, it's called vegeta. I think it's a Romanian seasoning. Anyways, my grandma gets it, and they just, like, fill this pickle jar with it. It's just one of those, like, grandma things that, I don't know where she buys them. We just, <laughs> it just ends up in our pantry. While that's cooking, I'm going to put some of this in the microwave. This is the Al Fresco Original Uncured Chicken Bacon. I have never tried this before. But it looks pretty good, so I'm probably going to have two pieces of this. Yum. You want some chicken bacon? A 9 out of 10. I have to go to practice soon, so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing. I have just a can of Chunk Light. That's so gross. It's just tuna. Um, and then I have half of a lemon, a little bit of finely diced red onion, and some capers. And then some light mayonnaise. I'm going to mix all these things up together and eat it maybe with like an avocado. And that's going to be lunch. This is lunch. Avocado. This looks disgusting, but it's good. It's just like tuna salad. Hi, so I'm in my car as always. Um, I'm about to go to practice, but I just wanted to come in and tell you guys... Um, just some stuff that I feel like I forgot to say at the beginning of the video. So as I mentioned, I do have Crohn's disease. Oh, by the way, I'm eating this. <laughs> Ironic, I'm talking about Crohn's disease. I can't really eat this, but I want to, so it's fine. Anyways, as I was saying, I do have Crohn's disease and basically it's inflammation of my intestines. So there's a lot of food that kind of irritate my stomach very badly. Um, some of those being dairy, fried food, um, heavily processed food, or this is this is a weird one like raw salads if I eat too many salads um, in like a period of a couple days I guess it's hard to digest so I start getting symptoms <clears throat> as I was saying I'm not taking my prescription medication for it and before you guys come at me in the comments all you doctors or whatever gastroenterologists I want you guys to know that I'm doing a lot of research me and my mom have done a lot a lot of research and um, I have basically like not cured myself but I've figured out how to control it just by taking supplements so just like the natural route to all of this and I'm taking probably I would say like 20 different supplements and I'm not including that in this video only because I don't want to like scare you guys or like have to explain what everything does but if you do um, want a video on Crohn's disease if you're struggling with it if you know someone struggling with it I'd love to share my experience because I know I lot watched a lot of YouTube videos um, when I was trying to like figure this all out I've had it for like a year year and a half yeah like a year now diagnosed as for my like what I my um, my what is it like your statistics like your body statistics I don't know um, I am five six and a half five seven I like to round up and say I'm five seven but um, I guess I'm like five six and a half and like 135 pounds I know it's kind of personal but like I don't really care if you guys know my weight five seven 135 whatever um, and I would say I'm kind of like an athletic build I'm pretty active but then again, like, volleyball doesn't burn that many calories. But when I'm not playing volleyball, I usually am, like, working out. Um, so I am pretty active. Right now, I've, I've been tracking everything that I'm eating today because it's different every day. I'm not the type of person to eat the same thing every day. I get so bored. But I'm tracking it in my fitness pal just to kind of see how I'm doing for the day. And my calories are actually a little bit low at this point. I think I've only had, like, a 1,000 calories 
and um, obviously give or take some just because the my fitness pal doesn't like I don't know I guess like I'm not measuring everything exactly um, but roughly I'm at a thousand calories which I know you shouldn't just count calories but I think it is important to know how many calories you're consuming just to, like to be aware I would like to like lean out a little bit obviously I feel like anyone everyone would so I am trying to stick with a higher protein diet um, but I think it's going pretty well so far I'm back from practice now and I am kind of hungry it's 5 15 but I think I'm gonna have dinner later so I'm just gonna have like some snacks so this is some cut up papaya so good one of my favorite fruits and then I have here some sugar snap peas and a little bit of hummus and this is the hope organic hummus this is what's going on right now okay so a little update I didn't end up eating much of that hummus that I was gonna eat with the snap peas I kind of just ended up eating them plain but I didn't want to still get my protein in. So um, we had some grilled salmon left over in the fridge from a couple nights ago or last night. And um, I just heated up a few ounces of that and then ate that as like my protein source. But it ended up working out really well because I'm really like satisfied right now. <laughs> so good stuff. Am I going to be in the vlog? Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to be in the vlog? <laughs> it's so zoomed in. <laughs> Paige gave me a Starburst, so I'm eating a one one singular okay. Starburst right now. <laughs> Thank you. You want dinner? Okay, guys, so I decided that for dinner I'm just gonna have dessert because I am not that hungry really. Um, so I'm gonna go with one of these so delicious sandwich cookies with made with coconut milk. And um, these are so good. They're only 100 calories and... <laughs> Seven grams of sugar, Da Vinci wants one too. Um, but this is my first time trying them and 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend these if you can't eat dairy. They literally taste exactly like the um, ice cream sandwiches I used to eat like when I was younger. <laughs> 